Hey everybody, we're going to be looking at kind of the new update as it really stands right now. I've had a, a little time to think about this and I'm doing this test with one of my computers to see just how much I can actually do with it. Because I think this is the perfect time to have the freeze track functionality perfected along with adding all of the tracks. Because I think computers, even if you don't get the new Mac Pro, the other parts of this recipe are so ready to make it so that you can have huge, massive sessions without too much of a headache, as long as we can just get a couple of these newest bugs worked out. So what I did here, I'm on a Mac Mini, just so I could test this out. And I will say, I did just now find another bug, by the way, but I'll tell you about it in a second. So I have 825 tracks of Apple Loops. I just literally went over to Apple Loops, just had the audio loops turned on. I, I selected a thousand of them. Well, I really selected 999 because I had one audio track out here and you can't drag a full thousand starting with that first one. It either makes all new tracks or puts them all on the existing track. Anyway, so I did 999 and then dragged one more out at the very top. So I got... I actually did a thousand to start with, and then I slowly started turning off the tracks because with a thousand tracks, my drive IO just isn't fast enough. I wasn't using enough processing to make a difference. There was no effects or anything. My sim simply my drive wasn't good enough. And I did the same test with my laptop, which has the SSD storage drive and I could do the full thousand tracks just by themselves. So really this is a hard drive issue, not as much of a computer issue. Anyway, I determined that as I went down, I slowly took them away, I could do 825 tracks playing audio. So let me play that for you just to demonstrate. Now, actually, it's not going to work right this moment for one obvious reason that I'm also doing screen capture to the hard drive. But you'll have to take my word for it. I could do 825 tracks and it plays without stopping or, and doesn't sound like it has any distortion or dropouts or anything like that. My preference is for audio, I've got my buffer size set to the highest and so it just plays. So I added to each of these tracks a compressor. And with that compressor on all 825 tracks, once I hit play, again, it didn't play all the way. It would stop saying that there wasn't enough power. Uh, but then I froze all of the tracks. So I went through and I just said, you know what? Freeze everything. This is only a 12 bars, but it, it took maybe, maybe a minute and a half two minutes to freeze this simple thing of 825 tracks, each with different files, all running just the default compressor setting. Okay, so once I froze them all, it started playing just fine again. So what this means is I can have a session up to 825 tracks, and anytime I have processing or virtual instruments, as long as I freeze those tracks, my drive can handle that number of tracks. So it's pretty impressive that I can now have any session I want, as long as I'm willing to go through the freeze process, which for the most part, if you're not doing a full 825 simultaneously, you can actually do that pretty easily. You just make sure you keep the end of the session set where the end of the session is, and you just make changes or add tracks and then hit the freeze button and push play and let it actually freeze it real quick. That one thing, as soon as they fix the bug about uh, the instruments and the effects going back to default when you unfreeze them, as soon as they fix that, this is going to make almost any computer into a powerhouse like they're talking about with the Mac Pros. So this computer right here that I'm working on right this moment is a 2014. So this is already five years old. I mean, it's not a, a wimpy computer, but it certainly is not a beast by any stretch of the imagination. And so my laptop is actually a much newer model, and it, it does a lot more than this Mac Mini. But this Mac Mini, with the freeze functionality working, is going to be awesome. So it's interesting. I have 825 tracks, and I scroll down, it says 1,000 tracks. 
So that's an interesting little bug that's happening there. Part of the reason why that is showing up is because I do have a thousand tracks here. I just have them hidden. So it's taking you through the hidden ones as well. But it shouldn't in that case because we're not actually going to the full thousand tracks. Okay, so interesting. This means that we can now have massive sessions on computers which aren't that massive. Because if you use the freeze technology and it's working correctly, you're going to be able to have just whatever your hard drives can handle. If you have a better hard drive, a faster hard drive, uh, then you're going to be able to have a bigger project. This is taking so much off of the processor and everything else that we can really do so many more things with this. And it's easy. It's easy to come through at some point, unfreeze the track, make a change. Say we want to actually add an equalizer to this channel and something, it doesn't matter in this case, this is just for example, but we want to do this piece of cake. I'm now going to refreeze this track and that's it. It takes the processing, processing stuff right back offline and now I've got that sound and all it is doing is reading this one file off the hard drive. So again, just a glimpse at really why the freezing capabilities in the new update are far more important than almost anything else, but combined with the ability to have a thousand tracks. The freezing part wouldn't matter if we couldn't have more tracks. We were at the point where we almost didn't even need the freeze capabilities with the number of tracks that were allowed already. But now that we can go to a thousand, the freeze functionality, a working freeze functionality is gonna be critical to turning any system into a real powerhouse. Okay, just wanted to share this and the thoughts about the new update. Hope that you're able to see the potential for this because I think there's a lot of potential in the new update. We just have to get another small update to fix some of the biggest problems that were released with the new update. And once they do that, I think that we're going to be able to really use some of this power even without the Mac Pro, the new Mac Pro. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this small video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, come back later in the week for another video.